I need to start a video uploading so that way I can get it sent to a friend for review. Where is, there it is. Upload video, select file, wrong thing. I just, sometimes I wish that like certain applications for upload would like stay in certain folders because I have a folder that I like export all of my finished videos to and like if just like the upload option on YouTube would like consistently send me to that finals folder I would be so happy that's not the way it's going where is it okay oh what did I title this Okay. <laughs> Whew, hi, I'm here. It has, like I said, it has been a busy day. Um, crazy busy. I've been super productive though. This is the second video that I am uploading today. It's the second video that I edited today. Whew, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, so I have Joe. um, um, not last night, but the night before, I fed Joe, like, two servings, two joe size servings of string cheese. He loves string cheese. It's a great treat for him because of, like, the protein. But he really only should get one because I gave him two. It means he didn't eat any of his pellet food, which means he didn't get any of the nutrients that he really needs, which upset his tiny little body and he stress pooped all over the overalls. <laughs> Cause I was in the process of like fitting them and he decided I'm so anxious I gotta like go for a run right now. So he was running around and he stress pooped all over the overalls. So I heard him finished them and I threw everything in the wash and now I'm wearing the overalls today. Which I can get up and show you in a minute. <sighs> I need to calm down. I don't need to speak so fast. Okay. Um, but yes, Joe is doing better today. I mixed, um... So when I first got him, I asked a lot of questions on like, okay, so like, what if his poop comes out weird or whatever? Um, cause you know, new mom. Anyway, uh, so I asked a lot of questions and they said that if he starts getting like dehydrated or, um, like he gets mushy poop, I call them the stress poops when they're mushy. Um, cause it's usually due to an overload of stress, um, to just put some Gatorade either in his water or in his pellet food. Um, and so that's what I did yesterday and I'm pretty sure he ate all of it. I didn't really check, but you know, it's made the food like really soft and easy to eat and anyway. So he's doing better today. He spent most of yesterday in his cage, um, because he also stress pooped in his pouch. Oh, sorry, little guy. Um, so I had to run that through the wash too. <laughs> But we're doing good today. I have them like close to my heart so he can hear my heartbeat because they're pouch marsupials. So they like hearing, he's happier when he can hear my heartbeat. Anyway, there's that story for you. Um, I saw a comment about my sweater. This is my squirrel sweater. I made it. It's, I actually, I really like this one. Uh, mostly because it's really warm. I am eventually going to line it because like these, um, Threads keep catching on my fingers when I like try to go through the sleeves, which will only make it warmer. So, kind of excited about that. Anyway, today I thought we would talk about the overalls, we'd talk about the start of my Regency project, and we would talk about future plans, exciting things, because I feel like I can, mm, excuse me, share this because it's actually working. Anyway. Can you tell my ADD is like crazy right now because I was hyper focused and had to abruptly stop? Whew, all right. 15 minutes left on that upload. Why do I keep looking at that upload? Let's let's minimize that screen. There we go. Object permanence, removing the thing will remove the anxiety. Okay, so the overalls. Let me take off my nice warm sweater and I will turn you guys. Do, do, and go stand in that messy corner. Hey, you can kind of see the Regency stuff. All right. Ta-da! I like 
them because they're high waisted but honestly they're like two inches too high waisted if the waistband was like down here I think I would like them better um, so I'm definitely gonna do that for my next pair um, and that is really just like I'm not gonna change anything about the actual pant I'll just make the bib and the straps longer to accommodate that um, what I don't like is that these are high waters <laughs> like meh. They, like even uh, there you guys you can see like just standing with them all smoothed out they are like ankle length it's terrible I hate it so what I'm thinking about doing is actually like tapering the leg so they're more of like a straight cut than a wide leg um, and then turning them into capris but um they've got four buttons on each side they fit my sway back like super nice. They got pockets, which the pockets are a little bit small. Like proportion wise, they're a little bit small. But um, yeah, I really like them for a first attempt at overalls. They are actually really nice. Um, the straps, because they're like so high waisted, like I don't know, like the straps have been digging in. So I need to make the straps looser. Anyway, that's that. Okay, I need to bundle back up because it is cold outside. We're like in the 20s today, which is really cold. But I feel like I have like how this wonderful spring floral and then like my autumn sweater. It's kind of fantastic. Okay. So, they're really cute, they look amazing, thanks guys. I'm really happy with them. Alright. I wish I could like Accio bring Betsy into frame. Ooh. Is she in frame? Yeah, close enough. So, I talked to you guys about the sweater is giving me Bernie vibes, maybe that's just because of all the mitten memes, probably. Um, anyway, I talked to you guys about doing a Regency thing at some point last year. Don't know if you guys remember that, but that was a thing. Um, and then I kind of tabled it because I didn't have the funds to like actually do it. And now I'm doing it. <laughs> Still don't really have the funds, but we're doing it. And the reason for that is because um, Fabric Mart has, they call them Fabricistas. Basically, um, they will like send people um, fabric from their store to then make things out of and write a blog post for them for their blog. And it's kind of an awesome deal. Not gonna lie. Anyway. Um, Kind of excited about that so I am one of their fabricistas and I'm using like their gifted fabric to make Regency things is kind of the goal but in order to do that I needed the proper foundations and so I had to make a shift that was short sleeved because all of my shifts are long sleeve and I had to make a pair of stays because I don't have the appropriate stays and I kind of took this project, um, like there's not going to be a project video about this, mainly because the video with like this content that I filmed for this project is going to be um, one about how to start costuming um, and things like that. Because I feel like a lot of the advice when you ask people, they're like, well, just do the thing, like just start. And when you have like anxiety and that just seems, that answer just seems so overwhelming, like I wanted to kind of break it down a little bit further. So that's what this video is. It's all about how I think you should start. And it has some really awesome pictures of like my first attempts into historical costuming. Um, so yeah, that'll be 1st of March. So I have 1st of March. Um, second is going to be a Hobbit dress video, third is going to be the Fabric Mart video, the 
fourth is overalls and then the fifth um, is a wardrobe part of my wardrobe. so I've decided okay this is getting into like future plans and like strategy my YouTube strategy and all that stuff because when you want to grow on YouTube you need some semblance of a strategy like that's what it boils down to anyway so I'm thinking once a month we will do something so once a month I will have a Hobbit dress video and then once a month I will have a video about like my handmade clothing or my handmade historical wardrobe or something to that effect because I kind of want to show it off and I don't feel like I get to show it off enough. Um, and part of my goals for the beginning of the year was to do a lookbook. So it'll either be like a section of my handmade wardrobe or a lookbook like once a month. I'm thinking like switching off. I don't know. We'll see. But that's kind of my plan. Um, question about the Hobbit dress. It is going slowly. Um, it's not really a priority right now. It doesn't need to become a priority again until April. I do need to finish the May video though, and that has me stressed. Anyway, um, something for my self-sustaining goal, which I'm actually kind of excited about. Um, if you would have asked me in like high school, like, what do you want to do with your life? I said I want to be a, a costume technician and um, I think it would be cool to like sell patterns maybe. Well, I'm, I'm going to be doing that. Um, I've already started the pattern write up for um, it's my birthday dress, so the last video of February. Um, that dress is going to have a pattern. Hopefully, I'm hoping to get it done in time for um, that video release. If not, like I will obviously tell you guys like when that is ready and stuff. Um, and I'm hoping like I have a goal to do six patterns this year and like hoping to up that to like 12 patterns next year. It really just depends on the amount of work that they are. But they're going to be one size gridded patterns. So if you did the American Duchess Cape Colt pattern on how that was on a grid and then everyone had to like adjust it from there, that's the style of patterns that I'm going to be putting out. Because they are easier for me and I don't know how to grade patterns. Um, and I feel like if you do any sort of like historical context, everything is either done with tapes um, or on a grid. So I feel like that's like adequate for <laughs> the community that I'm in. I like gridded. Okay, cool. I'm glad you do. Um, so that's kind of my goal. The instruction write up, I think, is what has me the most nervous because I can write out the instructions in like step by step. Um, but I feel like I need to make detailed instructions. So maybe I'll. I don't know what I want to do on if I like want to try one way and then move to the other. I don't know. So feedback on that. Like, do you just want a basic instruction write up or do you like actually want like detailed instructions with pictures? Cause that'll, that'll dictate how many patterns I get out. Anyway. But yeah, that's like also like working on the goals that I set for myself this year, which is kind of awesome. I'm like looking over at my goals. So, um, I think I have half of my 12 days of Jomas, so my Christmas videos that I wanted to do. I think I have about half of those filmed. Um, have maybe four or five halfway edited. I'm not finishing the edits on those until I have them all done um, because I don't know um, what's it called like I don't know what kind of intro I want to do or like and like there's like editing things that you can do throughout to like make them super consistent with each other and I just I don't know what all those details are yet I'll flush them out in probably October um, and I don't think I'm going to 
upload them all for my patrons unless they decide that they want them all. I'll let them decide. Anyway. Okay, today was like super short. I have run out of things to talk about it's because I talked so fast. Okay. Let's see. I'm like looking around and like, what can I talk to you guys about? Because it's only been 15 minutes. And I feel like a 15 minute live just isn't really worth anyone's time. Even though you're obviously all here and like excited about it. So I don't know why I'm so stressed. Um, let's see. Why do I have tape on my sock? Honestly. show us the Regency stuff. This is the Regency stuff. So I have, um, the pair of stays is made out of a cotton drill. Um, they are just your basic Regency short stays. So let's do this. And they have gussets for the bust. Um, what I learned from trying these on is that my bust is smaller than the pattern. So I actually need to take in the gussets by like a quarter of an inch on both of them and then it'll like help me get the lift that I want. Um, I also need to put some sort of cording under the bust um, to again help with that lift and that support because right now they're not as supportive as they could be. Again, but like that being said, the only bit of like stiffening that I have in these days is the boning that I have in the center front. So otherwise, like any sort of stiffness just comes directly from the cotton drill that I used. But yeah, uh, here's the back of them. I don't think I put the back straps on correctly. I think they need to be a little bit further out, which I will experiment with on my next pair. Um, but these really were just like, I'm just going to learn how to do the thing and not really care how pretty they look. Um, so you can see that by like the fact that there are 13 eyelets on this side and not 13 eyelets on this side. Oh, yeah. Because I realized that half inch spacing on eyelets for lacing was kind of ridiculous. But I realized that after I had done all of them. Just pin them back into place. So, I don't know, it's just it's learning um, part of doing a new time period that I've never done or like actually researched before means that I was super anxious, which is why I kind of put it off for a while. I mean, that and funding. Um, but yeah, it's kind of awesome. And it's like, Do you know why the fabric store asked for Regency? Um, so they actually just like send you the fabric that you can like request fabric from their website um, and then you choose what to make. So they didn't request Regency, I'm choosing to make Regency out of the fabric. Because that's, that's how this deal goes. I get to choose the fabric and I get to choose what to make. So. Like, don't feel bad. Like, I can understand, like, if you don't know how, like, um, sponsorships or, like, being, like, an amb a brand ambassador, like, if you don't know how that um, works, then, like, obviously you have questions. Um, so I think they only have you signed up for, like, a year, and it's either bi-monthly or once a quarter. And I'm on the bi-monthly list. So every other month I will make something Regency related unless they have a really good deal on linen then I'm totally making myself a suit. So that's my current plan. Um, where to start on making a corset? So I have, I have opinions about corsets. Um, I'm like adjusting you guys. Okay. 
So where to start with making a corset? It's just find a pattern and do it. I mean, that's like horrible advice, but their Red Threaded has a lot of patterns. You can find online pattern generators. Um, I don't know if Foundations Revealed still has their free pattern generator for a corset where you like input all, their, all your measurements and then it like spits out what you need to do. Excuse me. But that's how I made my first corset and that was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, like start with a pattern is where I would say. Um, and then like figure out how it fits you comfortably. So the opinions that I have about corsets um, is that corseting correctly, like there's two things, right? There's the tight lacing, which is a thing of its own. Um, and like, I feel like tight lacing leads to, it's kind of toxic, but corseting correctly can actually lead to like a better body image. And I haven't really like fleshed out in my mind like why I think that's a thing but when I do I'll make a video about it because I think it's an interesting topic um, but it basically for me boils down to the fact that when you corset correctly you are going to um, what's it called when you corset correctly you have to understand how your body is shaped so that way you can make it comfortable for you. And knowing that your body is different than everyone else's means that the pattern you receive, you'll have to make first to understand how it's made. And then you'll need to wear it to understand what changes you need to make to make it fit you. Um, custom corseting and like, I'm gonna call it non-tight lacing. Cause I feel like calling it course, like saying that this is how you do it correctly is like gatekeeping and it's like tight lacing is a thing and there's a community for that. But for the non tight lacing community um, and like the custom corset community, it's like, it makes you learn like what your body shape is and how you like things to fit and feel, which is why like, okay, so a while ago, I was talking about things on how like I can try something on and instantly know like yay nay need to fix um, and that's because I've spent a lot of time learning how I like things to fit on my body and how like what is comfortable for me and what isn't comfortable for me um, and if you're not used to like critically thinking like is this comfortable when you sew or when you put on try on clothes then like it's a little bit harder and you might have to like wear it a few times but like for instance when I put on my overalls this morning I instantly went hmm this waistband is like two inches too high it needs to be a little bit lower and I also went hmm if the waistband was lower the uh length on these legs would be where they should be so you know my mistake oh excuse me I keep burping and I think it's because I'm like swallowing air not good anyway um at one point in time there was like a free corset generator for fashion foundations revealed so Um, reasons these days are a really easy place to start. The only thing, tricky thing I would say would be the gussets. Um, gussets tend to be tricky, but, um, they're also like not, there's not much boning, um, or things. And so a lot of the shape comes from the fabric, um, and then you can add boning to like reinforce it. It used to be, but it doesn't seem anymore. Yeah, so I know Foundations Revealed changed their website, and I didn't know if that got copied over or saved anywhere. So that's unfortunate. That was actually a really cool beginner guide. What is going on? Okay. If you want a Victorian corset, then find a Victorian corset pattern and make it. And then like figure out how to make it fit you <laughs> like that's my best advice I can get for corseting 
Um, I do want to make more corsets. I actually, so that 1890s corset that I made last year, I actually want to like revamp um, and make it fit me better because I feel like I could put a little bit more spring in the hips and the back um, to help fit my sway back better and I can like bring in the tummy to give it more of like that rounded shape that they had in front. These are my thoughts. But if I do that, I'll make a video on like how to improve the shape of your corset, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, do you guys have any more questions? I like like engaging with you guys like this. This is awesome. Make the corset fit me instead of me fit the corset. Exactly. I mean, that's how it should be, honestly. But also realize like what's the purpose between making this corset? Um, are you doing it to like give you support with no padding? Or are you making it to be a little bit bigger so that way you can like pad out and get a really good historical shape? Like these are all questions to ask. So you'll figure it out as you go though. I believe in you. I don't know if that pattern generation article still exists. I'm not a member on Foundations Rebuild. I just know it did at one point. But yeah. Let's see. What are my future plans? I'm like so stuck on like March content because I'm so stressed that I don't have March content done. But I like I'm not even paying attention to like what's coming next. I mean, I'm not doing big projects this year like I did last year. So last year the big projects I did was my husband's outfit and then I did the Spanish gown and the Elsa ball gown were all big projects I did last year. And this year I'm like kind of taking it easy but like that's also stressing me out. So I don't know. We will see. Oh man. Well. I have officially run out of things for you to talk to you guys about and I should probably get going with my super productive day so okay you guys are asking me about my knitting um yes I do knit um, I have, beginning of February, have a video coming out about all my handmade sweaters. Um, I'm probably never going to make content on like how to knit or my knitting projects. Uh, just because knitting is something I do as a hobby. And hobby, I don't need to monetize all of my hobbies. So, um, I will every once in a while like give you guys updates on like, this is my current knitting project. But I am like not knitting right now. I have a, it's honestly mostly finished. If I spent like two weeks on it, I could probably get it done. Um, but I have a mostly finished project for my husband done. But I'm just, I'm just not finishing it because I'm not motivated. So yeah, on lives, I will like show you guys what I'm knitting if I'm like really excited about it. But other than that, there's really not much knitting content on my channel. And yes, to all of you who pointed it out, this Regency project is going to be a big project and the Hobbit dress is a huge project. So that's, the Hobbit dress being such a big project is why I chose to not do any other big projects this year. So we will see. Anyway, I need to start working on the Hobbit dress again. What's something you'd like to learn this year? Um, how, I feel like that question is best answered in my goal setting for this year. So I have that video of like goals for 2021, um, like that should answer like all of the goals I have for this year. So came for the sewing, just curious cause I knit myself. Yeah. I just, hobbies are fun and they can stay hobbies. I'm like afraid to start saying goodbye to you guys again because <laughs> like you keep coming up with like awesome comments. I 
hate when I like drink and then like my entire upper lip is like sopping wet because that's just what happens when you drink apparently. So annoying. Alright, well there have been no comments for like 30 seconds, so I am going to go. Goodbye everyone, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, the video for Monday, oh is that the sweater video? Are we into February? We are into February, so on Monday I will show you all of my handmade sweaters. Alright, bye guys.